We live, we live, we live. All right. What's up, Toro Rise? I'm a talking head tonight, so this is going to be fun. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't figure it out. I got a blue screen on because you can see the green, so that's working. I have no clue why just the green, I don't know, like the green turtle shows up, but then this doesn't show. I don't freaking know. I don't know what's going on here, but anyway, like it, it. Is, it was going to go talking head tonight. Fuck <laughs> it. Literally a talking head. So um, pay no attention to that turtle behind the curtain. Exactly. The, the turtle of Oz. All right, guys, welcome to the show, folks. Uh, I have shared the link to this stream on the Uncle Turtle Boy page and the Clarence Woods Emerson page on Facebook. So go ahead and share those for me. Let uh, Follow them, too, if you haven't done already. Give them pages mm -hmm. a like. Also on Twitter, you can find me on Twitter at, um, T at TB underscore Aiden. That's at TB and Turtle Boy underscore A-I-D-A-N. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, there was a purge yesterday on Twitter. A lot of people lost followers. We might get into that a little bit tonight. I lost. I only lost like 20, but it could be worse. A lot of people lost like thousands and shit, and Donald Trump lost 88 million followers. So no. that's not for him. Yeah. Uh, so that's a travesty that Trump is no longer on Twitter. And at, politics aside, dude, that was fucking – what was funnier than Donald Trump's Twitter? No, no. There was nothing. We talked about this more once to where I'm not even a Twitter guy. Yep. But just seeing him tweet, and then literally 10 minutes later, it has 500,000 retweets, 2 yep. million comments. Yep. And it was usually some greatly insane shit. Yes. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Something that didn't make any sense. Mexico's going to pay for this wall, and we're wow. bringing all the veterans home. We <laughs> need like, to wait, assemble like, the top 10 greatest Trump tweets of all time because they were so funny the shit that he would say in there he's like the greatest comedian and it's gone and they took it away from us because it was too fun so anyway that's that's that uh so follow me on Twitter and you can follow me on Parlor as long as it's up because everybody's trying to go to Parlor now uh I'm at Turtle Boy on there I'm up to like 3,600 followers on there so that's good uh it's kind of like the social media I, I put it this way you know what Parlor is Brett it's a it's a ghetto yeah, for I, it's it's a ghetto for conservatives. That's all it is. It's like if you it's literally like the ghettos of Germany, right back in the day. I'm not comparing myself to Nazi Germany, but it's similar. Like the outcasts, all the undesirables. Oh, no. I can't be on Twitter and Facebook and shit because they have the wrong opinion. They end up they, there. Yeah, but you know yeah. what they do with ghettos, right. right? What are the what are the you know what the Nazis did with the ghettos, right? They li they liquidate them. It was a freaking assembly point to gather you all together and destroy you, and that's and they just kill all of you. Well, yeah, because they've now yeah. the they're not happy. Like they, they don't want you just off of Twitter. They don't want you talking. Period. That is their whole goal here. Is like I don't want you talking. Period. So they're like, well, 
they could talk on parlor. Well, we can't have that. And all of my libertarian douchebags would probably feel stupid today. They're always like, oh, just use a different social media platform. Okay, so we'll go to parlor. And guess what happens on parlor? Well, Apple and Google Play, the other two tech gods after Facebook and Twitter, have decided that they are not going to allow parlor to be on their app store anymore. And 99% of app purchases in this country take place on either Google Play or Apple. So essentially how they work is they're like the, like Twitter and Facebook are the restaurants that you're not allowed into. And Apple and Google are the, are the roads that bring you to the restaurant. And now you're not allowed on those either. Like they don't, you're not allowed to fucking live. You're not going to be able to buy a gallon of milk soon. I, it sounds Orwellian, but I'm not playing dude. Like it's all fucking falling apart. Like they did this Democrats. When I told, I told you people, they play for fucking keeps. They're serious about this shit. The second they get power, the crazy shit starts. You fucking did this. And that's fine with me because I, I'm i of the belief that we, get, we can't live in a country with these people, man. We can't be with these people. We can't be around these people. We need our own Wakanda, right, for conservatives. We need conservative Wakanda, and we just need to fucking leave. Like we need to figure out who gets what states, and I'll move if necessary. You can have the shitty snow states. I don't care. I'll move to fucking the south. It doesn't matter to me. I can't live with these fucking people anymore. They're so insane. They're awful. They're a cancer on society. The world would be a better place without them. And we're going to get into some of them tonight. Okay. So that's my rant about that. I and that's can't fucking talking. wait. Yeah. That's just me telling you where the links are tonight. Okay. So go follow those accounts, please. And let people uh, know we're out here. We're live. Um, other dude, thing. You are coming in hot, son. I know. Well, somebody's got to keep me. I just saw Brady scored another touchdown. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I, I'm rooting for Tom Brady, but at the same time, every time you're watching Tom Brady, fucking, he's, he's hot as hell right now, and you're watching him, and you're like, this should be fucking us right now. Why the fuck? Why? Why? Dude, why, do we have no why? 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 Why not? Because you guys had long the fuck enough, man. No? Come on, it's never you selfish enough. fucking fucks. Wait, we, it's you never enough. enough. It's never enough. Okay, it's never enough. Uh, we, That's you can all are selfish. Yes, we are very selfish, but we deserve it. God loves us more. It's spoiled. Yes, and we deserve it. So give oh, me what I want. Obviously, God doesn't love you more. You'd be in the playoffs. Well, God Belichick loves Buffalo more. Yeah. But Belichick killed God. Okay, there is no God anymore. That's the problem. <laughs> so yeah, they, right. <laughs> they, I'll take that for an okay, answer. Yeah. No, I'm fine with that. that Let me sense. have some yeah, ice and coffee good. and shut the fuck up. Where are you yeah. repping? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, let us know in the comments right now, guys. Where are you watching the Turtle Boy live show from tonight? Where Where are you oh, repping? Let us know. Where are you yeah. watching the program from this evening? Go ahead. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be one of them fucking shows, yeah. huh? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> son. Okay, Nashua, Abington, Union, Scarborough, Randolph. Um, let's see, Southington, Connecticut. Uh, Randolph, let's see, Bellingham, Union, New Jersey, Auburn, Suxbridge, Hubbardston, Cape Cod, uh, Andover, Naples, Florida, um, New Hampshire, Dorchester, Somerville, West Tadnick, the Gulags, Turtle, uh, Tucson, Arizona, Prosper, Texas, Woonsocket, Tewksbury, Dorchester, Worcester, New Bedford, Los Angeles, that's a new one, uh, Drake it, Oxbridge, In the Tub, uh, New Bedford, Lynn, Salem, Apache Junction, Wakanda, Barry, Middleborough, um, uh, civilian police vehicle, excellent. Tuxbury, Tucson, Auburn, Mattapoisa, Dra uh, Drake it, not the Capitol building. Illinois, Fayetteville, North Carolina, Nancy Pelosi's desk, Westminster, Waltham, St. Albans, Maine, West Bridgewater, Long Island, Deerfield, Prosper, Texas, if I didn't mention Central Florida, Denver, Hampton, New Hampshire, Brant Rock, Fall River, Glendale, Arizona, Dorchester, Warwick, Wolwack, Portland, Maine, Holbrook, New Bedford, Worcester, Medford, Watertown, Franklin, Grafton. If I missed you, I missed you. I love y'all. Okay, let's get this party started. Okay, stop that. So here's the deal, guys. Um, I do have a freestyle plan. Uh, if we can raise two hundo in the super chat, we can uh, un unlock the freestyle. We got twenty here already. We got we only need a hundo eighty left. We can do this uh, again. This is kind of how uh, Turtle Boy makes a living these days. So. Uh, uh, you know, the YouTube show and whatnot. It's uh, so if you want, if you feel like donating to the cause, this is how you do it support free speech. I feel like I've earned it with yesterday's story with Rachel Rollins. No, Brett, 
That was a good one. Uh, we're gonna, uh, gonna start with that. We're gonna start with that. Oh yeah, we're starting with that. I don't think I've ever been more proud of you, man. Honestly, the, did you listen? It's just there's this fucking way you do those type of stories that you have such conviction, and even when you're being a dick, it makes sense. If that <laughs> makes sense, but yeah, yeah, even, yeah. Like. Hey, there's fucking 50,000 murders, stupid bitch, and you're worried about a fucking wrong turn or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. And it just goes, and she has that five second pause. It's like uh, uh, all mm -hmm. our local news didn't do that. All the real yeah. media didn't do that. You mm -hmm. did. You, you fucking fuck. Yeah, me. I'm sitting here in my house. Come on, so, let's just go. Just, well, let's, let's get the party started. Let's do this, shall we? Okay. So uh, let me pull this blog up. Okay, so um, this is uh, the uh, blog in question here. And by the way, people call me Mr. Boy because obviously we're going to – she called me that yesterday. She's like, so what do I call – who's this Mr. Boy? <laughs> Mr. That's a new one, Mr. Boy. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. And thank you to the donor there from um, – who is that from? Joanne Russell. So we're up to 25. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Anyway, uh, so Rachel Rollins is this ultimate – uh, progressive district attorney from Suffolk County. She got elected in 2018 on a platform of basically fuck the police, essentially. Uh, it's obviously more complicated than that, but criminal justice reform. Uh, she's supposed to be working with a prosecutor's office, but she often acts like a defense attorney, advocates for criminals, uh, isn't prosecuting a lot of crimes, like that's her thing, doesn't want ICE in the courthouses. Um, you know, she's just a liberal, crazy person who seems to care more about the bad guys than the victims, which sucks because she's supposed to be the district attorney. So uh, law and order is not like her thing, which is unfortunate. Thank you, Kevin Thomas. Uh, uh, Sean Desmond says, keep it going. We'll do, sir. Uh, so we're now up to 35. So uh, law and order is not her thing. And she gets into an incident. Uh, at, she goes on Christmas Eve. Let me read this summary report because this is posted on Twitter by a woman named Katie. Complaining Katie Lawson called and alleged that on 1224 at 1.30, she was operating her vehicle in the South Bay Mall parking lot towards the Mass Ave exit when another vehicle cut her off in a stop and shop. Lawson described the other vehicle as blacked out Chevy Tahoe with a mass red uh, 4GN 881. She described the operator as possibly being Hispanic or Cape Verdean female, 30s to mid 40s, wearing a navy blue dad cap and hooded sweatshirt. Lawson alleged that the woman yelled at her, including Quote, unquote, today is not the day to try me. The woman then activated emergency lights and exited the parking lot, failing to stop at the red light on Mass Ave while holding a cell phone to her ear. So um, that is, uh, you know, it's an allegation. It's This is not technically a police report. It is a citizen's complaint, but it's on Boston police letterhead. So the story kind of goes viral because people – People hate this chick, Brett. She's not well liked by a lot of folks, yeah. you know, outside of her circle. Wait, what? Yeah, I know it's shocking. I know, I know, shocking. Dude, but uh, listen, go no one should prosecute. No one should pro should prosecute drug dealers or drug users. Isn't it? Wasn't that her big thing? Yes, that's kind of her thing. Is like especially drug yeah. users. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Let them all go. Oh yeah. Oh, by the way, thank you, Michelle. But says I'm late for something. This is uh, yes, exactly. This is where I think you thrive. You need to do. I, I bet you could bury this fucking cunt if you keep looking. I bet you no, you're just gonna it. fucking yeah. Uh, thank you, by the way. Michelle says she lied the first minute when she denied not knowing who you were. She missed the Monica Cannon Grant blog. She knows exactly who I was. Her office has emailed me several times before after I've written about her. She knows goddamn well who I was. David Owens has have five pounds of snakes for holding right Ratchet Rollins account. So we're up to forty five bucks. <laughs> We're 155 away from the free throw. Thank you. Anyway, this is what this chick goes and uh, immediately tweets out. And Thing 2 also is donated, so we're up to 50 bucks now. That's good. Excellent. Yeah, like like I said, MJub, she said, she said she didn't know me, but she sent me, her office has sent me multiple emails before, so that's clearly, clearly a lie. Thank you, Thing 2. We are up to 50. That's good. Oh, and Joel says, happy birthday, Noah, his stepson. So they, Oh, that's another thing. If you guys want to do shout out. Um, you happy know, birthday, so Noah. Yeah, uh, happy yeah, happy birthday, Noah. If you guys ever want to do shout outs yeah. to like you know family members or anything like that, uh, you're free to do so, uh, you know, uh, by donating. You know, pretty much say whatever the fuck you want. I will be your whore. Uh, anyway, 
let's go on. Let's uh, keep going in this blog. So, uh, so we're up to 70 now. That's good. Excellent. Anyway, uh, immediately, what does this chick do? She goes on and she writes on Twitter, some women, some women, Brett, have the luxury of saying whatever they want and being believed. Amy Cooper, Maya Ponsetta, Carolyn Bryant Donham. And thank you very much, Sean Caridi. He just gave a hundo. So that's very helpful towards the cause here. So now we are up to 170. We're 30 away. So thank you very, very much. He says, hashtag turtle eight. I appreciate it, sir. Anyway, um, so back to this blog. So Amy Cooper, Maya Ponsetto, and Carolyn Bryant Donham. Do you know any of those three women are, Brett? No. Okay, so quick review. Amy Cooper was the chick this summer who called the cops on that guy who was bird watching in Central Park. Remember that? And oh, then she all right. Her job yeah. and everything. Like her, her, she got her life ruined over a fucking phone call to the police, which is absolutely insane. Uh, even though she was a little ridiculous herself, but then after that, uh, you the had, other two? so the other two, Maya Ponsetta is this chick who went viral last week. She confronted it. You might've seen the highlights. I didn't write about everything on your, on your Facebook feed. She like accused a black kid of stealing her phone in a store. Oh like a, yeah. 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 yeah like right. at them. So that that's her. And then Carolyn Bryant Donham is the white woman in Mississippi in 1955 who accused Emmett Till a, I believe Emma Till oh. was 14 at the time or 15. Uh, thank you, Johnny Mac. He just put us over the top there uh, for 50 docs. So we're up. There we go. So we got the freestyle. But if you guys want to donate, uh, I'll still graciously uh, appreciate anything you guys want to give to the cause. But yeah, so Carolyn Bryant Donham is the one who made up a story about Emma Till sexually harassing her, yeah. which directly yeah. led to him getting lynched, shot, mutilated, castrated, like terrible things. So she is essentially now. Yeah, yeah comparing herself and what when she says some women brett have the luxury of saying uh, whatever they want being believed who do you think she's talking about melogen adjacent women or whatever correct. that word was correct melanin yeah. adjacent okay. women thank you heather says thank you for me entertaining one of the rona uh, through the rona and he said brett mm -hmm. Uh, Tits McGee Gaffney says <laughs> brett looks like best on a milk carton i don't even know what that means best on a milk carton yeah. Yeah. Missing. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So thank you very much. Tits McGee Gaffney. <laughs> uh, anyway, the media just she's videotaped. Still here, her. though. So basically what she's saying is that, Oh, a white woman accused me of something and they're believed. And I'm just like Emmett Till now. Like I'm about to be lynched. I'm, uh -huh. I'm poor oppressed. You know, elected official in Suffolk County, Rachel Rollins. I'm like, oh, I'm just like the most powerful person in Boston. Like, she really is. Like, she controls law and order. Uh, you, So she has a lot of power. She has the media just videotape my home and my children are terrified. Funny, they've never come here to discuss oh. homicides or the rising crime rates. Uh, well, first of all, you are a public official, girl. All right. You are not like some private citizen. You signed up to be an elected official. And you're like, the media is coming to your home. Like if you do something stupid, Brett, like in our next story, we're going to get into that woman that went to the protest in what you call it. Did we lose Brett? No. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't see your picture anymore. Um, no, I thought just we, the, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no worries. No, no worries. But uh, basically um, in the next story, this woman that went to Washington DC and her kid ratted on her, the news came to her house, like knocked on the door. And eventually she like threatened to call the cops on them. So like with that, and then you have, like, that's a private citizen. Like if you are a public official and you're in the news, of course they're going to come to your house. So who gives a shit? If your kids are terrified, then don't be the district attorney. Okay. You're clearly not meant for this goddamn job. So don't do it. So quit whining about that. Anyway. Um, so, so that's obviously completely bullshit. And then, but I'd also like to point out that this same chick, and th these are tweets from her in 2018. We believe you, Dr. Ford. Who accused Brett Kavanaugh with zero evidence, zero evidence of sexual assault from 36 years ago? And we just had to believe he she just believed her. She believed her. Okay. Uh, but now a white woman is accused. Him. So basically, her philosophy in 2018 was believe white women. In 2021, her philosophy with white women is white bitches be lying. That's essentially how what has happened here. No. Yep. Quick, yeah. So, yeah, anyway, no, it's all uh, good. 
No, it's it's just all so backwards now. I'm almost happy that I I I wasn't on when you were talking about the uh the Viking hat fucking half of fags and the Capitol building shit. Yeah, I've because got... I didn't. I don't want to. I don't want to. Well, because a lot of people I like and that I, I I'm pretty sure like me won't like my opinion of the whole thing. So I was like, well, your opinion? dodge oh, that bullet. Opinion. Let's hear it. I want to oh. hear it actually. So I just hung myself. Well, why don't we do this? It, I'm it doing goes this back. To the... I'm doing that story next. All right, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, so let's go talk ahead. about this one, right? So she decides. <laughs> Howie Carr call, calls me up, and he's like, "You want to come on?" I'm like, "Sure." And then they message me like an hour before, they're like Rachel Rollins wants to come on too, because that's the kind of chick Rachel Rollins is. She does not. One thing I'll give her credit for: she doesn't back away from a fight, and she's been. She'll go on. She's been on Tucker Carlson multiple times. She's been on Howie a bunch of times, obviously. <laughs> And she specifically wanted to go at it with me. Like they asked her, like, I, I, I'll come on if, if Turtle Boy comes on with me. So she knew goddamn well who I was. She played stupid. So let me, let's play some clips from this, shall we? Right before the show started yeah, today, yeah. Oh, a of mine, the vehicle cut her off near stop and shop. Citizens complaint report right. underneath it. Oh. Objective person who has investigative skills. And, you know, it's a document. It's usually used as, an, uh, you know, an exhibit. Right, but it does say Boston. Oh, so she, so she's like, first thing she starts off with is saying like, oh, it's not a police, re- no, no, it's not a police report. It's just a complaint report. Anyone can fill one of those out, as if that makes it any less legitimate. Like, so first thing she tried to do is make this woman delegitimize her, her truth, if you will. And the turtle boy sexually assaulted a feline, what? and that will be out there, what? right? And you guys will have to fight that, you know, ghost of a, just an allegation of something that happened. On Boston police letterhead that you. Yeah. So basically she's saying that like, well, it's just an allegation. Why are you putting allegations about me? I don't have a chance to defend myself. We literally was driving very erratically in the. And what I'm seeing right now. And uh, here's and turtle, let's So this is my response. So, I roast her. I got to be okay, honest. Go I ahead. roast her. Well, you know, first of all, you can call me Aiden, but I guess now you know how Brett Kavanaugh. Boy, you know, Mr. Boy. an unsubstantiated allegation coming from a white woman that can seriously cause damage to you. So now I hope you understand how that feels. Uh, He's what right. I think is happening I right now, I, I mean, I wasn't there. I, I, to- I totally do. Why is she yeah, interrupting? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so so now uh, what I'm hearing from you, I wasn't there. This is what this person says happening. I think you're splitting here is with the, whether or not the police report or she put it. So the average citizen Good all point. you know is you see Boston letterhead. This woman apparently thinks it's serious enough to go to the police. Good point. And what I'm seeing right now in her statement about being afraid to come forward, what I, what I just heard from you, hit my car so and no so basically my issue. my point here was like this woman her whole thing was like i'm afraid to come forward like i'm afraid of what the consequences will be this is why brett this is why because she knows that like if i come forward this woman's gonna smear me she's gonna call me a liar and then i'm gonna be the next chick that falsely called the cops on a black woman that's what she's worried about being you know what i mean well, that's like you were saying how powerful fucking Rollins is. It's where if you're like one of her inner circle friends, not a chance you'll ever see the inside of a jail cell. But if you're one of her outer circle enemies, you're fucked. Yeah, like a like cop. if you're gonna be in Boston, you're yeah. fucked. Like fuck, like fuck, our fuck, friend fuck, fuck, our fuck. friend Leah didn't do so, right? Remember she put out that list of like hundred and thirty six problematic cops. And Leah yeah. was on there. She was a cop three years ago. Like why? And like the state police colonel that retired like three years ago, he was on there. Yeah. Like, why are you like, what, what are you doing? Like, you're the one who's, if you're, if your whole thing is reform, you better be fucking clean as shit. And clearly she's not. So it goes on. Absolutely. She didn't Good. drive the wrong way in traffic and almost Wait, her she, driving was erratic. I wouldn't have even noticed this woman if she didn't. Drive the wrong way in traffic what? and almost hit my car. And if she she drove the wrong way in traffic, Brett, and almost hit her car. Uh, do you know why this is obviously not true? And I didn't p- pick up on it at first, but I I, I really should have said something yesterday. The, the woman had a picture of Rachel Rollins' back license plate. Rachel Rollins is alleging that this woman is like flying at her, right? In her lane. And basically, Rachel Rollins has going to going like, the wrong her, way too. Going the wrong way, like in her lane, like coming right at her. Yeah. And Rachel yeah. Rollins had no choice. She <laughs> honked the horn a couple times, and like the woman didn't move, so she had to put on her siren 
to scare her off and get her attention. Well, then how did she get a picture of your back license plate? How does that make any sense at all? Because yeah. that's it what doesn't. she asked. So let me get this shit. She's going at you. You honk at her. You put the siren on to whatever. And then she just does a quick 180, takes a quick pick, and then goes on her way. Come on. That obviously didn't happen. She pulls up fast and the furious. She just goes, Err! let me yeah. get your license plate. Uh, Let's okay. see what else. Yeah. yeah. Makes the, sense. Sirens, the lights would do nothing because her head wasn't up. It's the siren but, to get her attention. And I just, I want you to understand, Aiden, as, as the chief law enforcement officer in, in Suffolk County, which is Boston, Chelsea, went through. I know here, what, yeah. We have like a fleet of 30 cars. They all have lights. Most of them have lights in them because we have homicide response. We got to, you know, go to different places. So, this is not a matter of like I've tricked out some car and I'm pretending to be law enforcement. I don't even know who this woman is. And I, I, well, I her name's on the report. So go ahead. Her so, name is her actor, name's on the report. Power, right? Okay, so the citizen called up and, and is making this allegation. You you mean oh. is making that allegation of which you are already oh. in Suffolk County and you this woman that Aiden I'm not calling her anything I'm telling you what it is that happened so she won't admit she's I calling this woman a liar Wait one second, but sir. she won't Hold say on. it. is the level of which you are already questioning me because what a person took do you know how many complaints we get that are not substantiated Weird. and people can just write whatever you want if this woman is making that allegation I've I don't I don't know who she is all I'm telling you Aiden is that is not what happened and I certainly hope that you would give me the same amount of ability to say what it is that did or didn't. Um, then you are giving a person that has not substantiated a single thing. So again, that, that, that's every time I'm these saying. people say because this, oh, I, you know, I, and then I, wait, why don't you like, why didn't you ask me first? Why did you print something that wasn't substantiated? Bish, you sided with Dr. Ford. Okay. You sided with Christine Ford. That's over. Like these people are the biggest fucking hypocrites, Brett. Everything they do is hypocritical. They've spent the last fucking four years whining about rigged elections and Russia and all this shit. And then they get mad when conservatives go and do the same fucking thing. Okay. Everything these people do is a walk. Oh, no. Believe women. Well, and then a woman comes forward and accuses Joe Biden of sexual assault. Well, not that bitch. She's lying. Don't listen to her. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, bitch. Yeah. yeah. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Get out of the way. God, they're fucking terrible. So mm -hmm. it goes on. By the way, I then proceeded to sit in standstill traffic for five more minutes before I took a right out of the parking lot. So she is alleging that I'm, I think I'm like a federale driving around South Bend. Like, I, I, I no, like that's, that's, I, not, I, no. that's not accurate. And so she can, you know, she's obviously lodged this allegation. I am very comfortable. Um, with what I just told you, but I, what I'm not comfortable with Aiden is that, you know, when we issue press reports, we say allegedly, right. And you, oh, calm down. the siren properly. I mean, oh, is that, that, is that how he asks her about the, the siren to, to, to use the siren like that? You, you mean as if before somebody's hitting the car? Right. I mean, I, you know, Aiden and I don't have sirens on our car. That Ralph Martin and Dan Conley, I don't think Newman Flint no car for but personal reasons. That is the vehicle I am issued and required to drive. Required because if there is huh? an emergency, we put the lights on and we go. What I'm saying is there would have been an entirely different level of investigation had she actually hit the car, right? And all So I'm she's saying that she takes the this car out and this is a bigger like I like how she just glosses over this, Brett. You're doing your Christmas shopping in a state issued car? With your kids inside of it. And she's like, the, why are you in this car? Well, at any point, I could have to go somewhere to go on a call. Oh, you're, do your kids come with you? The same ones that are crying because the media is on your front lawn. They're so scared for their life. Like, okay, kids, we got to go to a freaking homicide in Revere real quick. Or in Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> we got a double homicide out there. Some hooker got gutted. Uh, we're going to go check her out. So I know you guys, you know, you're scared of the guy from WBZ. He's giving you goddamn nightmares. But, you know, a dead hooker in the projects in Chelsea, that oh one's going to you somehow, right? Give me a break. Listen, Give kids. Me. Listen, yeah. kids. I know we're on our way to Dairy Queen, but there's a decapitated junkie down at Lowell. Are we going to go check this shit out right quick? 
Side trip. <laughs> it's okay. Let's go. Yeah. Side and trip. She didn't say she, she just takes it. She said, I'm required to. I'm required like you're to. You're forced to take this nice siren laden fucking vehicle. Go fucking suck your mother's fucking twat, you fucking lying piece of shit. And I gotta be honest, I gotta be perfectly honest with you, Brett, because she kept bringing up like, my You're kid, gonna get me in my trouble. Kid, bitch, I could be, I, I'm being dead serious here and I'm not even being facetious. I didn't know she had kids, Brett, because I just kind of assumed she was a lesbian. I mean, she. I, I, on, she I honestly she thought she was a clam digger too. I mean, no, I, I thought she was that, a clam digger. I thought, like, she has, she's not like just like lesbian, lesbian. She's like the, the kind of shit that like brings you home and convinces you to come out to your parents, lesbian. Like that, like Ben in the class. Like I had no idea. That took me for surprise. Anyway, let's go on. I Sorry, sorry go ahead. I think she's more the like brings you home and then makes you do stuff to her and then makes you make breakfast at her house in the morning. <laughs> One of them ones. Like, yeah. listen, them pancakes are gonna flip themselves, bitch. Get the cooking. I ate your shit, right? Now make me something to eat. Like one of those ones. All right, continue, sir. My fault. I wanted the person to not Too take good. the vehicle that I was in, by the way, with children. Okay? So there are many falsehoods. So Aiden, are you gonna tell me my kids weren't in the car? Because she said that I was in the car by myself. Where did like, she say did that? She write about that. She as never well? said that. Come on. All she I was doing is. was all I was doing was reporting the allegation that was made against you by this woman who seems very serious about it. Incredible. She's credible. A, a That's the word they like to use. A couple weeks afterwards and seems very concerned and quite frankly, Last question, she seems Ellie. compelling and believable. I mean, don't I you think that's true though? Like, Brett, like the fact that like the fact that she is pushing this so much makes me believe this woman's like legit that this happened. If, if it didn't, you wouldn't have given it a second of your time publicly. Right. Like, you know like, what I mean? Like, no, you would right. have never no. even acknowledged it. Fly on your shoulder type shit. Yeah, I, ch I checked her out her page. I'm like, because could could this be politically motivated? Could this be a right winger who's just like, fuck her? But yeah. as you read the report, she clearly has no idea that it's Rachel Rollins. She, like, describes her as, you know, a meatball-looking Cape Verdean chick. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, so, what, what, by the way, oh. I say this. Thanks, James Richards. He says Brett should make a visit to New News New England Haters Club, Polly Crispy's new channel. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I forgot about that asshole. Anyway, um, so back He's to not the dead yet. And by the way, that's the thing about those guys is like I don't even care. Like this is what yeah, we who do. Who gives a fuck, I mean, man? Polly Crispy, like oh, Aiden Turtle Boys are relevant. Well, bitch, I'm the one. Like I have a few. I have feuds with district attorneys of like major American cities. You are on fucking Kate's panel I've, talking fucking listen, you know, fuzzy, fuzzy tomato. Listen, I've seen shows because people send me links, all this fucking silly dumb shit. Mm -hmm. There's shows that open with either a clip of you or a clip of the both of us during like joking around, like we're saying some horrible shit and they only clip yeah, like the horrible shit with no context mm -hmm. to it. And it's fucking hilarious, but that's how they start their shit. Oh, really? That's interesting. It's about, it's like, what the fuck is you, if I ever, ever, and, and please do this for me, pal. I, I consider us pals. Yes, if I pals. ever start my own shit and it, and it opens up with me playing other people's shit, shoot me in the fucking head. <laughs> One time in the temple, boop, and end yeah. it. So I don't end up one of these pathetic panel driven fucking guns. Just do that no, for me, buddy. I'll do it for you, whether you like it I or will. not. I'll do it. I will. I'll, I'll put you out of your misery if you do that. Uh, thing one donates and he says, Google Jonathan Matthews to explain arrested to find some fun Google trophies. Rachel's naughty uh -huh. siblings. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, so back to the interview. Did she just put this out? I was not there. You're now telling me that something different happened to Dunham Bryant, the woman who falsely accused. It's, and it's good. What I'm saying, Aiden, is I don't care what you, Howie, Cooner, you know, Tucker, any of them say about me, but you are never going to threaten my Listen, children. Never. That's all I'm saying. Is that oh, this tough guy. We find ourselves in this country. What? The fact that you think hmm. that I don't get death threats because of this job. Who said my you don't seven, get death threats? 11 and 16 year old daughters do not deserve any of this. They didn't sign up for it. Good. Uh -huh. 
what the fuck is she talking about? Like, don't you dare threaten to kill my kid. Like, the fact that you don't believe that I get death threats. When did I ever be- said I don't believe you get death threats? When did that ever take place? Ever. Like, you tell me. I didn't second- hear anything about death threats. The only Nothing. time I'm talking about death threats is her. And quite frankly, when if you find yourself in a position where you need to bring up death threats that you're getting, it's because you've lost your argument. It's because you are yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. something. And that's why you need to deflect and bring this up. Because guess what? I get death threats on a daily basis. And you don't hear me whining about it. Well, we do funny segments. I about have it. a nice. There's a nice similarity. To now, how many people have you blogged about? To where it was all oh, they were the biggest, most bravado, running their fucking cock, fucking cases. And the day after the blog, they're like, "Huh, I'm getting death threats, and people are telling me I should hang my babies." And blah 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 blah. Yeah, oh, a million all the time. of them, right? Yeah, that's happened all the a million times. Oh yeah. And now the district attorney, whatever the fuck this fucking cunt is, she's doing the exact same thing. And to you, like you've seen this act a million fucking times. Exactly. And and usually when they do that, they're like a nobody. You're the district Uh, attorney. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. Like I would not be surprised if you were getting death threats. But guess what? That's kind of part of the job. Also... You are the chief law enforcement officer. If you're getting death threats, like who better to get death threats than the person that can go after those people giving you death threats? Like you are the fucking law. And that means you're doing your fucking job, though. That would mean you're doing your job, unlike you, madam, who is fucking not. Listen, I'm going to say this right now, live to it as a record of it. I'm going to start a GoFundMe when this fucking Rachel Rollins cunt reopens my armed robbery case and I get thrown in a cage because of this live show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so God. there'll be a GoFundMe and you fucking assholes better give a couple dollars. You fucking pieces so, of shit. Yeah. <laughs> this was getting so good. For some reason, they decided to go to commercial. Terrible, terrible program. Oh. And by the way, do you want to come back? <laughs> this is attorney Hall. There was like a there was a Netflix documentary that she was just in about some guy who was wrongfully accused of a murder 30, 30 years ago in Boston. They interview her at her house. Like so her she, her house is on goddamn Netflix and she's not afraid to do that. So you're a liar, Rachel. Do you want to come oh. back and explore the modern turtle boy uh, properly and pick it up like to So this would like 11 well, no. asking, cops are no. texting and saying that you know that there's specific uh, rules and regulations about when you can turn on the uh, turn on the lights so this is the lights thing it's not the lights how it was going. I said siren siren okay like 11 well, no apologies same thing got, I so she this is interesting and someone pointed this out after breath and I didn't even think about it she said she didn't turn her blue lights on but yet how did the woman know she had blue lights yeah, because, yeah, good point. It's an undercover yeah. car, right? Like, how would she know yeah. that the car had blue lights if she didn't put the blue lights on? Like, this woman is such a fucking liar, such a liar. And it's scary that somebody who lies like this is in charge of law enforcement in our state. Listen, like, you're pathological. In charge of so much, though. That's what I'm saying. In charge, like, has such fucking power in Massachusetts. Can send you to jail for the rest of your life. And, and you're acting like every ratchet that plays these, uh. yeah, dude. I'm sorry. I, I I'm with the Wormtown, born and bred. I fucking I'm proud that I grew up there. Fuck Massachusetts, man. Fuck your state, son. Good luck. Good no, I luck in that agree. shit all. The horn that I did, and so what Ooh. I was attempting to do, the lights wouldn't have done anything for me because the, the lights- person wasn't looking forward. Oh, and it was the slow roll of about to hit my car like a fish called Wanda. That no, I know that. Yeah. going one inch at a time. So my point is, is it was the, the the horn I was trying to blow, and that's when the head snapped up. And screamed to so this was this that's was the horn that everybody did. has. This was the this was the no 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 no. Huh? Oh, Howie, the I horn? apologize. Oh. I am using my horn. Just like a, a normal person, okay. multiple times, they're not listening. They're not hearing me. I don't know why. And then rapidly, 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 and as they get closer and closer, slowly to my car about to hit me, I hit the horn as in there's like in in my Tahoe issued by the Boston Police Department or whoever gets the car. I the inherited it from Conley. It looks like a little phone with no all idea. these. It's not yeah. you push 
Okay, okay shut up with the bullshit. Done. Enough with the bullshit. <laughs> I absolutely said. I want to get to the part where I ask her about. Did you say that to her? Did, did no, you say try me? What I said is, What'd you... what are you doing? You almost hit my car. Oh, that's Pay what she said. And she's going the wrong way. She's going the wrong way. Again, a lie. Giving the finger at each other. I didn't do any of that. I didn't swear. I didn't swear. an audience with respect to her being upset that I said. Oh, she got audience. Me. I mean, she sounds pretty upset. Wait. Wait. No, I, oh, God, God. So it was. She just said a couple minutes ago, like, no, of course I didn't use the lights because the lights wouldn't help unless she was facing me. Duh. But no, she said she's that, coming she said right that, at you. She oh. said that she was, she, her, her lie was, so basically she's like, this woman's coming right at me. And she's like texting or not looking at the road. And so she goes, yeah. which she wouldn't have been able to tell from that far away. And she didn't put her lights on because that wouldn't do anything. She honked the horn. That didn't work. So she had to use her siren in order to scare the woman. And then, oh, yeah, and then that was the end of it. Come on. Give me a fucking break. Come on. What a fucking liar this woman is. Christ. I hate and her. That is, that's, that's all I'm saying. And I could have walked and got home. We know now is, is that. I'm not saying that's this woman. All I'm saying is, you, you know, I, like I don't you want to be vilified. Here. When you are the, you are the, you're I want to get to the part where I ask her if she'll uh, investigate this herself. Woman. You're, you're giving her a pass to was about Aiden is the media has never been outside of my house. Not when we had a 20 year low in homicide. I yelled at her. I yelled at and her. And then citizens complaint report filed with the boss. This, uh, by this woman. You're this, you? this you're for all, you're all kinds of stories. Yeah. Other news happens. Oh, so here we go. Here's the point. When I ask her about, will you investigate yourself? Yes. The public complaint. Office. Howie, Howie, please. And Aiden, please. I don't care that you're writing about this. All I'm asking is please write about it accurately. Is if you said a citizen's complaint report filed with the Boston police alleges, I'm all for you. I don't have any problem with that. But what I what I don't like is when there is, you know, misstatements. And I would be saying this if this were somebody else as well. That's all I'm saying. And Howie, let's be real. If this is media to you, when I'm watching on the TV, we're on the brink of a civil war. Oh, God, and, shut you know, up. I hope you're also writing about, you know, like death You better fucking hope we the, ain't, pal. I don't know, the officer that was killed in the riot. <laughs> like, I think that's a lot more relevant, but it's up to you what you guys are going to do. Uh, there's and more for you're all, you're all kinds of stories. Yeah, yeah, other yeah. news happens Wait, too. wait, wait. Other news happens too. It's, it's okay. Weird. Multiple wait. things. But you're just deflecting. All you've done is deflect. You good point. Talk. There's other got a lot of good the points. News. Therefore, you can't bring up this thing about me. One does not have anything to do with the other, Rachel. You're deflecting, and you haven't answered the question. Will you, like, for the sake of transparency, hold camera and see whether or not you went through that red light? It should be rather simple. Will she no, do that? No, I'm not. I, no, I she won't. Think it's appropriate. Why not? To do that, and not. I'm telling you right now, it's not consistent with anything I stand for. It's so, that's a good point. I'll give her that. It's not consistent with anything she stands for. She's not big on enforcing the law. However, Brett, it is big on, like, you know, the fact that, uh, I don't know, she has gone after police officers, like, all the time. She has a tweet out. Like, look at this tweet she put out not too long ago about somebody in her own office. She says about them, where the fuck did it go? Um, did I not put it in here? I thought I put it in here. Basically, she's like, I'm going to investigate this person in my own office. Um Oh, yeah, yesterday's incident. It, it, no, that's a totally different thing. Uh, anyway, uh, basically, this woman is not being truthful about anything. She says she'll go after, she's gone after Boston cops. She's had them investigated. Like, if you're a Boston cop that she thinks is like abusing overtime pay, she'll put a camera on you and investigate you and prosecute yeah. you if you're lying. But, you know, she doesn't have time for anything, Brett, because there's 50 homicides in Boston, which I'd like to point out. Why are there 50 homicides in Boston? Like, hmm. maybe because you're letting violent offenders out of jail. Might have something to do with it. I don't know. Or giving like, a, a three-time fucking gun possession guy a $1,000 bail for his sixth arrest. Yes, that might All help, the other yeah. bullshit they do. Yeah. All the other liberal That nonsense. might have a fucking hand in it. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, so... 
obviously that whole thing, I, we can all agree that she looked, I roasted her, right? I mean, I don't want to, I didn't even have to do much. I feel like she did it to herself. Like her, it was, I thought she would be better prepared than I, I thought this chick was sharp, but she came on there and she just didn't have a fucking plan, man. Like that was not good for her, but it doesn't matter. What was the little break? What was the like, the, like you, it was, it was the three of you. And then like you were gone for a few minutes. Commer- it was a commercial. Some- oh, all right. No, fuck. See, the, the commercial. Right. <laughs> for some reason, I thought, I, I thought during that commercial? is when you smell blood. Like no, during like, that break, it, it, you were like, really, dude, I got her. I did got it. I'm like, I'm going to get, oh, believe me. I'm like, I'm going to get, like, that gave me time to regroup and I was going to go after her. And I feel no, like that's I did. what I'm saying. To where, yeah. like, you knew what worked and fucking what got to her and this and that. Mm-hmm. And then you dictated the fucking. Like, you know, all of a sudden it went from, who is this, Mr. Boy, to an Aiden. I don't care if you write about this. Yeah. Yet you keep breaking it up. If you didn't so care, you wouldn't have mentioned it once. It's true. Now, get this. She goes on Twitter afterwards and writes, like, this is how <laughs> I know I'm in Rachel Rollins' head. Because she goes on Twitter. And I don't know if she's drunk. People say this woman likes to drink. I don't really know. I can't comment on that. But she just says, earlier today, a masked white ma- a white man jumped out of a truck, parked in front of my home, walked quickly to me while inaudibly speaking. He opened his trunk of his truck. Got that, Brett? The trunk of the truck. Yeah. Grabbed something, took it out, and aimed it at me. I was terrified and turned away. My children were there. I thought we, and then leaves us on a fucking cliffhanger. Like, what happened? Oh, my God, Brett. Somebody came up there. Maybe she died. In the middle of the tweet, I don't fucking know. We'll never know. Is this, this, is like, is this J.K. Rollins? J.K. Rollins. Listen, Harry Potter, tell us the rest of the fucking story. We got to start calling him that, J.K. Rollins. <laughs> J.K. Rollins. I like it because this is all. He's gonna make shit up. Might as fucking well be. Yeah, I mean, and she kind of looks like one of those trolls too. So, uh, she goes on to say, and then so she. Doesn't finish the tweet. Half an hour later, like literally, puts another version of the tweet up. This time, the guy is not white. She goes, earlier today, a weird truck Uh-oh. okay, was in front of my house. When I walked out, a masked man got out of the car. Time out. First of all, who the fuck isn't masked? <laughs> Who's not masked? Everybody's Wait, fucking masked. Again, I thought, well, you have to be in Boston yeah. especially, right? Yeah, that's like the whole point, right? Yeah. Oh. He was mumbling something and quickly opened his trunk. He grabbed something large and dark. So what is it, like a machine gun? I was terrified and turned to me. Earlier she said that he pointed it. He aimed it at her. So now it's not aimed at her. It just turned towards her. But she was still terrified. She's keeping that there. My children were there. She had that in the last one. They were terrified too. This is unreal. What the fuck happened? What are you talking about? Well, later uh, on, I'm surprised. Today, the, I'm surprised their children. I'm surprised their kids weren't safe in the undercover cop shot. She runs around with them in. You know what I mean? <laughs> Couldn't you guys just jump into the Rollins mobile and fucking speed off? No, well, you don't have to stop at stoplights, so you're good. That's you know, good. Anyway, we got to oh, get rid of this cunt. Oh well, we're not going to. She's one of these people that has that seat for life. She represents South County. Forever. This is the yep. same county that elects Ayanna Presley overwhelmingly. Like, she ain't going nowhere. And she goes, you know, y- and then she tweets this out today. Like, this is amazing. Yesterday's incident in front of my house involved an unmarked media vehicle. So she's basically yeah. like, yeah, the guy that got out of the truck, and I assumed he was a white guy here to kill me, and he had, like, a gun and shit, I'm, like, alluding to, that was just WBZ. <laughs> Thanks for the acts and support. My children, like many of yours, are scared and worry about what they saw at our Capitol. Everyone, like, we're going to talk about what we saw at the Capitol. If you're scared it was of that. literally Comcast. It was a Comcast truck, and the black thing was a cable box, and he was fixing her neighbor's shit. And she's like, ah! <laughs> yeah. So the woman puts out a statement. Uh. You can read the whole statement on here. Because this woman is adamant that she is not lying about this. Like, why would it? She's, like, pissed off about this. And she's like telling the whole story. She's got every detail of this, like every fucking detail uh, about it. And she, and she also added this, which I thought was interesting. She said that 
the driver of the Tahoe identified as Suffolk County DA Rollins then proceeded to say, you want me to give you a ticket, I will give you a ticket as she turned on the strobes and the sirens. So that's interesting, Brett, because during the show with Howie, she said to me, well, this woman accused me of giving her a ticket. Time out. In my original, in my original blog, did I mention anything about a ticket? Nope. No, I didn't. So where did Rachel Rollins, how did she know that this allegation was made? Because she said it. Yeah, because she said it. That's the only <laughs> possible thing Because she said it, right? Exactly. Like, if yeah, she didn't... Yeah, if, that's the only answer. Know, it had never been alleged publicly. So you just came out, you're like, I didn't give her a ticket. Bitch, no one said you did. So what's up with that? Of course you did. That's what makes it even worse. She has no ability to give uh, tickets. You're not a cop. You're just the fucking chick who goes after cops. You're not even a cop. Like, stop it. Uh, so mm. she's like this whole thing. <laughs> Read it, and this I'll show you the map too. Like so, basically, um, she sucks. She does. She does. she sucks all the nuts. Um, we'll pull it up here real quick. Let's see. Uh, is this it? <laughs> and Miss Rollins, I'm only kidding. Miss J.K. Rollins, don't open up my eyes, bro. Please, oh, it's just. And, and I also, I also <laughs> love how she like she made this woman Brett sound like a crackhead. She's like. Well, it was down near the stop and shop. Oh. CD characters down there, you know, like all this shit. Uh, where oh. is it? Mass Ave. And first of all, there is a ton of traffic on this goddamn street. Look at this shit. And the stop and shop's over here. So the woman's pulling out of the stop and shop. What the fuck did I end up over here? Hold on. Okay. How about right here? <laughs> Which way am I going? Okay. There it is. I think we want to go this way, right? Oh. South Bay Mall. Okay. So yeah, she pulls out of the stop and shop. And then she comes over here and she says that Rachel Rollins was in this lane, a right turn only lane. This light was red. And she's like, fuck it. She just put it on her blues and goes right through it. And that's what happened. So I believe the woman. I believe women, even the white ones. Uh, I think oh. that Rachel Rollins is a lying <laughs> sack of shit. Uh, so I don't believe anything she says. And the fact that she's in charge of law and order is scary. So, oh, parlors being taken off of Amazon Web Series. Parlor's basically like un fucking believable. The tech companies are like, so Parlor is basically like all Parlor is is a platform. Like Parlor doesn't publish anything themselves; they just exist, right? So here's my question, yeah. right? If we're banning Parlor because they are a platform that allows violent speech, right, about overthrowing the Capitol. Do you think anybody has ever, you know, written anything threatening on a Gmail before, Brett? An email on Gmail? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, probably. And a lot probably. worse. And a lot yeah, worse. Probably said, like kitty porn through Gmail. Like I bet yep. you Gmail has been a conduit for, you know, several crimes over the years. Several crimes. Do we shut down Gmail? Do we shut down Google? No, we don't. Because it's fucking ridiculous to blame a platform. How about we shut down Verizon, Brett? Because I might have sent you a text message that said that we should overtake the capital. So we should ban Verizon too. This is insane. This is this is nothing to do with safety. It has everything to do with shutting up conservatives. It's fucking ridiculous. So let's go on to the next topic, shall we? This other All chick. Right. All right. Okay. I'm um, just gonna grab a, I gotta grab a cherry Pepsi. I'll be right back. You do your thing, boy. All right. Boy. 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 I'm Mr. Boy. That's Mr. Boy to you. I guess All right. I'm step boy. I'm the step, step boy. boy. <laughs> Jerry Pepsi. Actually, I gotta I gotta go throw my drink too. You're in charge for one minute. Hold on. Be right back. Oh good. What was the story I was telling the other day? Uh oh, when I dropped my gun at Vincent's, right? Isn't that I don't know if any of you guys remember that, the beginning of that story. So I go to Vincent's, right? This is a long time ago. And uh Get out of the car, and there's like a bunch of people in the parking lot. Get out, fucking gun hits the pavement. Click, 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 click. Everyone looks. I'm like, oh, no, 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 it's a lighter. Put it in there. Go inside, sell the Coke that I was supposed to sell. Back in the car. We leave, get about two blocks away, and I realize the gun is still on the fucking pavement. We had to go back to Vincent's. What the fuck are you talking pick it up. about? It's still there. And Guns? then I left. What's that? What are you talking about? Armed robbery charges? 
You're reliving the glory no, days? No, fuck no. I'm not talking about that. Okay. No, I was talking about selling Coke at Vincent's. Oh, you ever better. been to Vincent's? Good meatball subs. Why does everyone say to me? I've not, I don't think I've ever had a meatball sub That's there. What you're for. The only reason we went there is during baseball season. You can go sit out back on those big spool fucking bullshit tables. And yeah. as long as you keep ordering drinks, you get free steamed hot dogs for the whole game. Oh, there you go. There you so go. we would just order pitches of beer and free fucking hot dogs. Every time you went to take a piss, grab a couple dogs of mustard. Blah. Yeah. Um, so right. let's talk about this. Dude, talk- when I first saw this, yeah. when I first saw this picture, I thought, I thought I was like, oh, fuck. Now we're going to talk about Kate again. That's legit what went through my head when I first saw the fucking the kind of cover. I'm not even kidding. I was like, dude, bit. we're not done with this cunt yet. And I was like, oh, yeah. wait, this is a, a different abuse. Yeah, different, <laughs> it's a, this is, the, this is the, re- the reverse abuse. So anyway, uh, let's talk about the situation that happened at the Capitol. What are your thoughts on what happened at the Capitol on Tuesday? Uh, it, we literally... and. Uh, I feel like that GI fuck. My wife doesn't give a fuck about politics too much, blah, 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 blah. And we literally had it on TV all day, like when they're doing everything. We sat here at least six, I think it was six hours before she gave up and went to the bedroom. And all I could think of is, look at you. You guys have just made yourselves into what we've been mocking and making fun of for four fucking years. Right, right, right. Like it. It doesn't make sense. And everyone's this broad now that got the fucking the shell to the neck. She's a fucking some sort of like saint now. Like she's a hero fucking because uh, the the government police killed her or whatever the fuck. You, you, oh, you, you mean, breached the, uh, the, the chick in the Senate office that was killed. Ashley, what's her name? Yeah. Go ahead. Hey, hey, about it. Whatever the fuck. Who gives a fuck about what yeah. her fucking name is? Yeah. You You did what you weren't supposed to do. And you caught a shell for it. That, that, that That's how the fucking world works. And all these fucking assholes saying, if it was BLM or NTV, blah, 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 shut your fucking mouths. You're a bunch of cunts, and you did it the wrong way. You accomplished nothing, and you've become a punchline now. All those pieces of shit we made fun of for burning down Target because George Floyd fucking died. Remember how we made fun of all them? I oh, remember. I told him. I'm a oh, fucking camera went off. Fuck it. But... My camera's like not working. It, no, mine, mine, fuck, fucked up. Who oh, cares? Like, as long as they can still hear me. Hold on one sec, because uh, my my computer. No, we're good. Like, like oh. I'm not like I can't fucking get to this. You know, you keep talking. If if I buzz out, I'll I'll just sign right back in. All right. Well, no, it's it, like I'm watching this, and the guy with the Viking horns, and everyone, some World of Warcraft geek, they're saying he's a Nazi because he has a Legend of Zelda tattoo on his hand, and all this insane shit. That we've been making fun of for four fucking years. All this crying and bitching and <laughs> poor me, I have all these rights. Obviously, you don't. And it, just a side note: How the fuck do we have a thirteen trillion dollar defense budget and the world of Warcraft and fucking? Uh, they just breached our inner sanctum of democracy, supposedly. Right? That's where it is. That's the whole. Oh, they make the rules. Right, these little fucking half a fag fucks just took it all away. They're sitting in your chairs, and how are you any better? People we made fun of, you're not. You're fucking the same now, and I'm not with you. Let's make that clear. I'm a Trump guy. I like the chaos. I thought he did a couple good things, but I'm not with you assholes. You Capitol building fucks. I I ain't the same. You ain't with me. Yeah, your your yeah. fucking cunts, cunts. They are they're whiny cunts that were down there, and it was ridiculous the whole thing. And Trump specifically preyed on his stupidest followers, right? They're like the ones that don't give a fuck, and he knows he's got some of those. Like I can get the ones that don't give a fuck, like just to do some crazy shit. He knows it's not gonna change anything. Like it's fucking done. He's gonna lose. He's like talking about Mike Pence, like. Mike Pence, let me know. Like, Mike Pence can't do help you, dude. You fucking lost. Like, it's fucking over. And it, we had a good run, but it's done. He's like, he convinced these people, like, if you raid the fucking Capitol, we can change shit. Like, and so, like you said, 
We have the biggest defense budget in the world, and we got invaded by the fucking Fred Flintstone Woman Haters Club there. By, uh, where, by, fucking... by the all-star team of RuneScape. You know what I mean? The Minecraft all-stars yeah. just took the fucking Senate floor. Yeah, and like ultimately, you. what did they you. like? People talk, like they're uh, of course CNN's going like insurrection, coup, words like that. Oh, like they can fuck off with all that. Yeah, it was a fucking bunch of goons that were in the Capitol for like an hour, dicking around, jerking off on Nancy Pelosi's desk, having a good time, breaking windows and shit, just being douchebags, and then the business of the day went on okay it was bad it shouldn't have happened but can we stop like this is nothing nothing compared to what black lives matter did nothing and like you said like four or five people got killed now the cop getting killed that that died a couple days later like i'm sorry like uh, think of this like if you were involved in that if you were involved in going inside that capitol building and pushing people to get in chill like that i don't you deserve to get arrested because somebody fucking died you're complicit in like a murder now, like an innocent person, a cop, the like blue lives matter, right? A fucking cop gets killed. And you, how would you like Listen, this? You're, whoa, you're whoa, whoa, whoa. This, in that video, in the video of that guy getting crushed between the shield and the metal, the cop, yeah. did you see yeah. that video? I think so. Like four rows back, a guy is using his blue lives matter flag pole to yeah. push into him. How big of a retarded fucking window licking cunt do you have to be to use a, just so people understand, a Blue Lives Matter flagpole to crush a law, inform a law enforcement officer to death? How, yeah, you were how, like, how, you, how, you, how, sat, how, how. you sat like in the front of the short bus. That's what you did. Like, you, like, you weren't even allowed in the back of the short bus. You had this in the front row. I think he was blowing the bus driver. No helmet. Yeah. That's a yeah. you don't want to wear a helmet. You gotta go down here. So these idiots go into. I mean, think of this. You, somebody out there right now is about to get arrested for murder and is going to spend the rest of their life in jail because Donald Trump lied to them. Like, think of that. Like, what a fucking. I mean, I like Trump, but what a fucking dick move that is. Like, you're you prey on your stupidest people. One's dead. Another one's going to jail for the rest of his life. A guard's dead because. You just wanted to fuck around a little bit, kind of. That's all Trump is doing. He's just fucking around. Even fuck even off. right before the Capitol debacle, something on one of your shows, the way he's already shit his legacy away. Because, like, you could have gotten out of this, you know? Like, if you didn't act mm -hmm. like a cunt about the vote thing and all this other shit, you could have walked away having accomplished a couple things could've. and not having both sides hate you. Mm-hmm. You've yeah. now alienated uh, everyone. Uh, yeah, it's true. Even his no? supporters. Look at you there know, was people. It was Republicans that that said publicly before the siege. They're calling it. Jesus yeah. Christ already. Fucking relax. Fuck off siege. But before siege. that, they were voting to contest shit. After that, when they got back in session, like six or nine of them changed their minds. So you actually hurt your pretend cause. Yeah. So in the process of doing this stupid shit. So I got people in the comments. I, I lost a bunch of followers when I said this truth. Because I, I got some MAGA people. Oh, I'm, I sure, I'm sure I've been unfriended by a bunch of people now. I had no idea how. I thought I really, I got to be honest, I learned something through this. Like I thought the only crazy retards were on the left. Little do I know we have a lot of them no. on the right they are literally retarded. Like, if you believe any of this shit, like, that, like, oh, we could have Trump. There are still people out there, even though Trump has now conceded and admits Biden's going to be inaugurated because Trump did not say the name Biden in his speech. They think that he's like, a, oh, a new Trump says a new administration will be coming in. They're like, oh, it could be Ivanka. Like, should, no, no, no. Like, these people are nuts. So, I, like, I guess what? this guy, there's somebody in the comments right now who wants to come on and oh. they're like, no, have a different viewpoint. I agree. I agree. If any of these sped bus babies All right. and argue against the Trump thing, I just put the link to the stream yard in the comments. You're more than welcome to come on. Okay. I'm gonna you're gonna have to wave to me in the background to let me know. And if you'd like to make your case by why this is a you know why I'm wrong, 
happy to do so. Now, let me just say this, um, that if you went into the Capitol building <laughs> and you were part of the ransacking, you absolutely deserve to be arrested. However, the vast majority of people did not that were at this thing. And there was nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with attending this. If, like, I wouldn't do it. I think you're stupid. But that is your fucking right as an American to go to Washington, D.C. and protest this. Because the liberals did the same thing when Trump got elected. No, not my president. It's the same thing. You're allowed to do that. You're allowed to become a meme. And these people were down there doing that. But <laughs> because this happened now, what we're seeing left and right is that people oh. are getting basically uh, their their lives ruined for just being there, for being on the lawn, for not doing anything wrong. I've seen it happen to so many people, and that is fucking scary. The fact that they are just going after these people for participating in an insurrection, participating in an insurrection. So uh, if, if I, I'm only looking for Trump people that want to argue with me right now, if you want to argue, where are these pussies? Where is this large guy? They I, talk all shit, and then they fucking don't want to come on. What a bunch of that's what i mean what a bunch of fucking faggots huh brett these fucking trump people that like the diehards like i like, wanted to go i wanted to yeah. go to the capitol i wanted to bring your kids in a bullhorn and just start fucking yelling shit and doing sirens in folks faces and get famous and maybe get elected to something maybe i'd be the mayor of grafton right now if i did mayor what? of grafton <laughs> i don't know who what you're talking, talking about? about i don't know who you're talking about bullhorn bobby Bullhorn, Caloran, Caloran Campbell, twenty twenty four. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I do have a problem with just the people that are being there getting in trouble, and that is what we're seeing. So here is it's um, retarded that you gotta be there. Like, yeah, that's fucking. If you're on the lawn, you're chilling. You're not fucking breaking shit. You're not, you know, storming anything. Yeah. It's it, you. In one, it's still fucking America, man. You, you're yeah. allowed to be there to witness. I mean, it was history. Like, that shit didn't even happen in the Civil War or whatever the fuck, the way they stormed the whatever the fuck. Yep. But it, you can't be... If you're in trouble just for being there, then whoever fires you should be able to get sued for anti-American shit, I would think. I would think no? so, but... No, but there's just no... App, like, the media has created the narrative. If you were there, you're part of the insurrection, Brett. You're treasonous. You must... You All can't right. have a job. You can't have anything. You must be destroyed. So, anyway... Wait. This chick, uh, uh, her name is Tolina. Dur I, said, I said she was a Shepherd Hill grad. No, she is a Shepherd Hill senior, as I found out. She's a senior in high school. Okay. Notice the nap. Like, right is now? This nap yeah, she's a senior at Shepherd Hill, where I used to teach. Okay. And you go to her she, Twitter bio. You said she? Uh, is it she? It is uh, she, her. It's she, her. So that is correct. You sure? That I think that's a choice, not a gender. Because I mean, she has over. Yeah. It means you have. She has ovaries and she doesn't disagree with them. And she accepts them mm. as they are supposed to be there. That's All right. We'll go with your. Yes. That's what that means. So I'm just um, going by that picture you just showed. Like a little Swedish boy stretching. <laughs> anyway, a video starts going around the Capitol protests, right? Uh, of this woman here. Uh, and the video that apparently has been taken down because I don't see the embedded tweet here anymore. And the video gets taken down. Basically, what happens is a you see a black chick in this crowd of, of Trump supporters, and they're arguing over something. And then she just winds up and clocks this white bitch right in the face. She gets escorted out of there. The mob like comes after her. Somebody else hits her in the back, and it's it's a whole big thing. And so this video goes viral of this woman getting punched in the face like that. Like, look at that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look at Oof. that. Just not good. Anyway, people are like doxing because uh, this woman was there, even though she's clearly a victim and was literally punched in the face, didn't participate in raiding the Capitol, nothing. She's still at risk now if she's identified. Who fucking identifies her? Her daughter, who comes forward. Helena Duke says, hi, mom. Remember the time you told me I shouldn't go to the BLM protest because they could have <laughs> this you? They loved it. This you? And it's like, okay, so... Oh. And then she goes, she goes on to say, hi, this is the liberal lesbian of the family who's been kicked out multiple times for her views and for going to BLM protests to care what happens to me. So mom, Teresa Duke, uncle, Richard Lorenz, aunt, auntie, Lore Annie Lorenz. She puts all her <laughs> shit out. There. Like doxes her own fucking mom to the mob. So Whole those family. 
It's my mother. This was retweeted. Like she got something like, Ooh. look at this, 365,000 likes, 6,700 retweets. Uh. No, no, 65,000 retweets. All the shit, like, and I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I, this is a terrible, terrible thing about Twitter that I see out there. Claudia Conway did this to her mother, Kellyanne, too. When a child, when a, when a liberal child rebels against their conservative parent, the internet encourages them. They're like, yes, we got another recruit here. And they don't care about the family dynamic that, like, you are hurting your parent, right? This is the woman that raised you that like you allowed you to fucking suck milk out of her titties, right? That fed you, that clothed you, that made you in the position you are where you have fucking internet and cell phones and you go to a nice school and all this shit. She did all that for you. She will be there for you no matter what the rest of your life. If you go to jail, she will visit you every fucking weekend, okay? That is how much this person cares about you. They love you unconditionally and you're so willing to just have a mob of strangers destroy your mother so that you can get internet clout. So that, for what? I mean, that's all you're getting out of this, right? Is just a bunch of retweets and, yes, slay queen. Yes. Oh, this girl, you, I feel so, you, you're a good person. You're on our team now. Like, your mother, I'm so sorry. Your mother's like this. Fuck your mother. And it just encourages these teenagers to just fucking harm their parents for their political viewpoints, okay? And for those who don't believe it's my mother, and she shows like a picture of her, and- In here, that's that's a, oh. what? Yeah. No, yeah. this whole thing is so fucking horrible. And not just her mom, like, and this is my aunt, this is my uncle, this yeah. is this other motherfucker, oh, my whole worse. family. Yeah, it gets worse. So she goes, you-, you know, I'm the slit like, licker that always gets judged for my political beliefs. So yeah. here's my whole family, internet. Have a toilet seat. That's nice, huh? Well, she asks, and then people have said, does she work oh. at UMass? Yes, ma'am. Yes, she's a PCA at UMass. She was fired, okay? This woman was fired for getting punched in the face at a political protest. She was fired. Now, here's my question, Brett. If So Black mm -hmm. Lives Matter, right? All these, we saw in Boston, New York, all these major cities. Protests happened. They were, quote unquote, the media calls them, peaceful protesters, right? Well, sure. They start off peaceful and then night falls. And next thing you know, Macy's is getting raided and the police station's getting burnt to the ground. And Antifa is out playing their fucking games and all this bullshit. And, and Alina and Alini's kid is out there burning cop cars. Like that's what happens. So if you were at the protest, right, but you did not take part in the rioting and the looting, should you get arrested and lose your job? Absolutely not. So in then no what way, shape or form. So then what the fuck is the difference here? If you were at this protest and you did not break shit in loot, then why should you get in trouble? Why should there be repercussions for that? No, there shouldn't, but it's because yeah. it's the wrong side. Insurrection. Because they, you know what? Because the left is so uh, much better at branding. They're so much better at what branding. Are they, what's the word for this? What's uh, So insurrection, we're guilty of that. Me and you are too? No, we didn't we, go. You're only oh, we, insurrected if you went to the oh. thing. Yeah. So we, oh, we didn't, right. And since we both think they're a bunch of cunts, yes, we're, 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 we're on the good side then. Yeah, we're traitors. Just so oh, we're, oh we're, we're traitors. We're, we're not we're, the good guys. We're, we're Tories. Like we have, um, we're siding with England <laughs> here. You know what I mean? We're, oh, we're, that we're, is yeah, right. exactly. so we're not throwing the tea overboard. That's not us. That they means are. I'm going to donate 15 pounds of snakes then. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm like, yep. it's it's absolutely like they, the the left is just so much better at branding because they're like, okay, here's what we're gonna call it, guys. We're gonna call it an insurrection. That one sticks, and then we're gonna call it treason. We're gonna call them traitors, and we're gonna call them thugs and all the shit. And then we're gonna say if Black Lives Matter did this, they would have all been shot because this is a ra systemic racism. We're gonna say that one a lot, and we're gonna call our movement Black Lives Matter, even though because it sounds good. If you don't believe in Black Lives Matter, you're you don't. Must not believe Black Lives Matter. They're so much yeah. better at branding than conservatives are. Like conservatives need to get better at branding. They're so good at it and making you seem like insurrection. Like that's a scary fucking word. It's a great word. Like why didn't we come up with insurrection? It why is, didn't it is a good word. Can't yeah, we be sycophants? Or does that not apply? Can we just be sycophants? That's not a good word either. You don't want to be called sycophant. No, but, but like, it, it sounds scary, like insurgents and stuff. 
Oh, that like sounds cool. terroristy. Yeah, like put it this way: if you had, why didn't we when they were impeaching Trump, right, and doing all this bullshit? We should have called that an insurrection. Like you're trying to take out, down a lawfully elected president with some bullshit insurrection. But Republicans aren't good with branding. They suck at it. We're so fucking bad at the game. They're so much better at it. Like Nancy Pelosi gets caught fucking getting a haircut. And instead of fucking admitting she does something wrong, she just goes on there. She's like, yeah, they, no, it's actually them. So I, I got see set somebody, up. Yeah. I see somebody yeah, in the background. That's what here. Said, right? Yeah. I got set well, up. Make, I see hey, yeah, make do the wave thing so we don't see Can no dicks. I see yeah. we in the background. Can you wave? Okay. Wave your, oh, wave your dick. <laughs> what happens if he does a dick thing? <laughs> well, then then you're going to have to stop it. You're going to have to do all that fucking bullshit, and then we lose the live chat, and it all goes to fuck. I'm all right. Okay. Okay. You with the, you with the, uh, D, you got to right. turn up. You got to oh, turn up. You got to turn, turn your show off. Your show off. Oh God! Oh God! Oh, I gotta turn it off. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, turn the volume. Yeah, turn the volume. Go off. Just listen. Just listen. Just listen. Stream yeah, join. Stream yeah. Oh. Okay. Is that better, dude? Yeah, with us. Is that better, dude? Oh, with us. Oh, I'm fucking hard. I'm hard. I'm hard. I'm hard. I'm hard. What is wrong with this short bus, dude? Wrong with this short bus, dude? Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Hey, can you hear me? Yes, turn the fucking yes, thing off. Turn the fucking thing off. All right, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Are you there? Are you there? I'm here. Turn I'm off, here, the off the fucking off the phone. Jesus I, fucking I don't know Christ. how to turn it off the backdrop. It's not fucking brain it's not surgery. Fucking brain surgery. It's fucking put it off. Put it off. Are you there? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Jesus. Talk. Say Talk. something. Say something. I'm here. So what do you want? So what do you want? I'm calling about the Trump situation. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think I think they fucked everybody over by by doing what they did. Who? Oh. And what? Well, whoever went in there, the Republicans, the right, whatever you want to call them, I think they fucked up by going in the building. They should have just stood to the outside and and I'm not, it would have been I'm different. Not. I'm I'm only I'm, looking I'm only for people looking who are people wanted to defend. I'm only looking for I'm that. Only right. looking for that right now. So you're not here who to do that. Who want to Who want to what? Okay, goodbye. Okay, so again, follow directions, guys. I was looking for people that want to defend Donald Trump and the insurrectionists. Okay, if you're here to just agree with me, that's not adding anything to the program. So yeah. Anyway, let's go on. Let's go on. Um, yeah, so there, follow directions. Anyway, uh, so back to this story here. This chick's like, she really kicked me out of the house for going to BLM protests. Karma's a bitch. First of all, I highly doubt you were, you're a high school student. You weren't, you were kicked out of the house for going to a BLM protest. Come on. I don't believe that for a second. Karma's a bitch. Yeah. Speaking of karma, you're going to get yours some way. And then somebody says, mom, I think you mean to say that powerful black woman punched you for what the fuck does it mean? That powerful black woman, like you're so desperate for the approval of black people that like you see a black woman, you're like, oh, she's powerful, a powerful black woman, so powerful and strong and powerful, and she like totally checked well, my mother's privilege. Shut the, what a terrible child! What an absolutely terrible child. She's 18 years old, so technically she's not a kid, but like. The fact that this woman is, this girl is being canonized by the internet is pure fucking evil. Pure fucking evil. Like, I hope she's listening right now. You're horrible. You're a horrible child. And someday you're Can we going call her? to do this. No, because like her fucking, she's not on Facebook and shit. It's like one of these, they're not on Facebook this generation. Yeah. And listen, so anyway. of course he wants to be accepted. Wait, wait, wait. No, so anyway. If you go back to the first picture where she looks like a Swedish boy stretcher with a black mat shirt, of course she has to placate herself to the people that she has a shot with. And I'm not saying you could only get a black guy or a hood guy. It's probably going to be a white rapper. And you look at that. I, I'm, I'm still not sure that's a daughter, son. She <laughs> should be happy with what she gets with that fucked up hair, not a tit on her. If you put both of those little things together, still wouldn't be a tit. 
And no it cap. looks like your mother now looks like fucking Uriah Faber with the fucking scars on her face. You're fucked for life. You yeah. already shit away yeah. your whole life. Yeah. So this this here's this Bruh. chick. This is your, this is her girlfriend, <laughs> Chase Cook. Okay. Uh, she's a lesbi apparently, and th like this is the one that really pissed me off. What the girlfriend said at my girlfriend's mom. Where are you staying tonight? Hope your clown nose gets better. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I have a strict rule with relationships, Brett, right? Only I can shit on my mom. Only I can talk shit about my mom, okay? My wife's not allowed to talk shit about my mom. No girlfriend I've ever had has been allowed to talk shit about my mom. Nobody talks shit about my mom except me, okay? Because like, yeah. you talk shit about your own mom. You're not going to badmouth my mom around me. You know what I mean, Brett? Absolutely. No, no, no. Like, uh, one of, I got a bunch of brothers. One of them isn't the sharpest tool in the shed, we'll say. And at parties and stuff, me and my other brothers would be fucking with them. But if someone else tried to make a joke, we're like, no, right. no, 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 no. Right. You want to shut your fucking mouth. That's our brother. We right, can exactly. shit on him as if he's yeah. a portal. It. Right. You exactly. shut your fucking mouth. Yeah. Hope your clown knows. Yeah. Same thing. Guess what, cunt? Okay. Uh, girl, if you if you went to jail, if you if this chick got a twenty year jail sentence, like whatever, she's not gonna get it. But if, if she did, guess what? Your scissoring friend Chase here, she's not coming. She's dumping you. Your mom's gonna be there every fucking weekend because your mom loves you. This is just some chick, okay, who just wants to eat a little box for now because she's going through ah. a phase of UMass Dartmouth. You're nothing to her, okay? You're letting her openly crap on your fucking mother, and there is a special place in hell for you for what you are doing to her. Pure evil. Hi, Therese. You're calling her mother fucking Therese. Don't talk to me or my love ever again. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, hunt. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. This is evil that a, is that this a picture from Mr. Head. Toad's Wild Ride? I don't know why they have that picture, but she had it up, yeah. Isn't oh that my Mr. God. Toad's Wild Ride? Hater. That book was awesome. Yeah. And Listen, then she's like, and that broad, her little, wait, her little girlfriend won't be there because she's barely a slit licker son. If she was a real slit licker, like a clam digging pro, she'd have picked a lesbian with tits. You're almost a dude. You're That's true. Yeah, I don't think she won't exactly. even be gay by the time you get out. They're just in it because, like, if, the if they don't have some type of marginalized group to become a to become a member of, right? Then they're just white chicks. So like this chick, I think is from Holden. Like, listen, I, I can't pass. <laughs> yeah. I can't pass Maybe. for black. I'm here. Yep. I'm here legally. Better yep. eat some pussy so I can get in on this fucking aid. Yeah. And I got news for you. No, it makes perfect sense to me. A lot, a lot of straight chicks don't mm -hmm. mind busting out a dildo with a friend once in a while. You know what I mean? That doesn't make you a lesbian. That just makes you like Ooh. dick adjacent occasionally. That's all you are. Nothing. You're not actually a lesbian. Wait, it doesn't right. make you a lesbian. No, I don't. Nope, nope. I'm not co signing that bullshit. You're not? You so if she and you were hanging out, me, listen, say me and you were hanging out tomorrow watching the playoffs, right? And we yep. both whip out flashlights and just get a fucking nut right quick in between nachos it's and mozzarella sticks. That it. don't make us fags? No, right. You this complete. You can't make that analogy. It's different with chicks. Straight chicks are like uh, they they're dick adjacent. They're not afraid to just hey. They, 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 no guys are around. They're, you they're want to bust genitalia the adjacent. Come on, ladies. The ladies listening right now, you know what I'm saying. I know half of you out there. I know about half of this you have probably terrible. licked a little pussy once in a while. Come on. <gasps> There's no such thing as guys like straight oh, that's, guys. That's way different. That's way different. Licked a little pussy and. You're sitting over there, and I'm sitting over here, and we're giving ourselves the buzz, the fucking. Brr, 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 brr. That's different than, oh, I like these dildos. Me too, Sarah. Hey, why don't you come over here and fucking tongue punch yeah. my little man in the boat? That's two yeah. different fucking scenarios. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking you about. You all really saying, no, no, no. You know you have. You know you have. You put some ninety nine banana in there. Off yeah. the rails. The Mad, the Mad Dog forty forty in you. And the music's right. Little D'Angelo <laughs> in the background there. Next thing you know, you and your friend are like, hey, "Little wire." Yeah, we know it. That doesn't make you a lesbian. You're just like, you know, it's not the same thing. You would prefer some actual, you know, foreskin or something in there a little bit, a little lubricant, something, uh, something that wasn't made out of fucking something that wasn't made in China. 
you, they know what I'm talking about. All you fucking women are lying. You're lying. I know you're lying. Anyway, um, so back to the story. What's the next story? What's anyway, the next story? Uh, anyway, Jesus back, Christ. I'm, not with, I'm not done with this one yet. This whole check. Oh, me, all right. Me, yep. and, me and Helena Duke with our mimosas celebrating the downfall of our racist ancestors. Shut the fuck up, cunt. I swear to fucking God. And, of course, by the way, they're monetizing it because she puts her goddamn cash app out there and all this bullshit. All these people are offering her money. It's fucking evil. Absolutely fucking evil. And, by the way, Brett, I saw it today on BuzzFeed. Let me bring this up right quick. Oh, I see this story on goddamn BuzzFeed. An 18-year-old saw her mom, aunt, and uncle in D.C. in a video, so she named them. There she is. Look at this. Like, first of all, the hair. I don't want. I don't know how to tell this girl. Your hair is racist. I like, I don't know that. Like, you can't have. Like, this is what's called cultural appropriation. In your circle of friends, this is a big no-no moving forward. Okay, like having hair like that, and uh, oh. like so. This whole article, they interview her, and she's like talking about how it. You know, her mother was down there and blah, blah, blah. And she, like, asks her mom, was that you? She shows BuzzFeed the text messages between her and her mom, right? And she says, let me see what the text say here. Oh, uh, she goes on to so say, terrible. I know it's so <laughs> terrible, right? Um, let's see. She says, it's unclear how Lena's family members were at the Capitol on Wednesday, uh, blah, blah, blah. Five people died, blah, blah, blah. Local law enforcement. Ident- in a screenshot of text blah, blah, blah. messages, in a screenshot of text messages reviewed by BuzzFeed News, Helena asked her mom where she was on Wednesday night but did not get a response. The next day, after Therese texted saying she was home, Helena simply responded, how's your nose? And the mom says, please call me or talk to me if you really want to know. Her mom and aunt who she said was close to until their relationship broke down in recent years, have sent her pleas and threats to remove her tweets. We are not, and this is um, this is an actual, so she shows BuzzFeed her aunt's text, private text messages saying, we are not proud no. of how things went in DC. I know you are upset, but putting us in danger isn't going to solve anything. Please, I am begging you to remove, okay? And it's like, are you fucking kidding me? She actually showed the. This chick is fucking evil. Fuck this chick, man. I like I, all these people out here praising this chick. I hope you're watching this, fucking Helena. Okay, you're 18, so you can hear this. You're a fucking cunt. That's what you are. You're fucking evil. You're pure. Th- you're not a oh. good person. You're fucking oh. bitch. Your fucking mother still fucking loves you because she has no choice. But everybody else fucking hates you. All these people fucking, oh, yeah, Slate Girl. They're going to be gone in five minutes. And then what the fuck are you left with? A broken fucking family. Because that's the kind of person you are. That's the kind of evil fucking bitch you are. Fuck you. Okay? So that's my thing on that. Anyway, uh, real quick. Um, should we do the freestyle, Brett? I don't have time to get to the other story. Well, I, I, they've earned it, right? Yeah, let's they, do the freestyle. They hooked us up. Yeah. Let's do it. And then we'll, right. then we'll do some questions or whatever. Good, I can let's do the thing. All right, do your shit, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. District attorney by the name of Rollins gets a little freaky when she drinks with Tom Collins. Gets into a beat outside the stop and shop. Break the law in Boston, the charges getting dropped. Always talking about how she wants some reform. But when it comes to this bitch lying is the norm. With the victimizing, she really need to chill. Fall back, girl, cause you ain't Emmett Till. Says the crotch fruits getting hounded by the media. Story changes so much, we call her Wikipedia. Everything the chick's saying is bizarre. Make a fool of herself with me and Howie Carr. Believe in Dr. Ford just cause the bitch is crying. Now she gets accused and she says the chick is lying. Telling different stories and couldn't keep them straight. Is she coming at you? How'd you get the license plate? Listen, bullshit. Sure can be tiring. Bitch, just admit it. You put on a siren. She a politician, so she get a little grimy. Tried to get her off, and a bitch don't try me. Investigate herself. 
All I hear is crickets. Fuck with her on Christmas and you be getting tickets. Donald Trump lost and dude is in denial. Buddy knows his diehards will be acting vile. Charlton mom went to the protest, got knocked in the face by a bitch who's possessed. Seen the video goes viral on the Twitter. All these Biden bitches sure be getting bitter. Eventually you know that someone gonna spot her, but how the fuck you getting docked by your own daughter? I would kill myself if my kid was that crappy. Bitch, you ain't white, so why the fuck you here nappy? Betrays her own mom, just get a little clout. Bitch, it ain't a wonder why she threw your ass out. Running off the BuzzFeed, girl, shut your trap. Modern day do this with the cash app. Compensating too much just cause she a cracker. If that was my kid, I would probably smack her. Now your family life sure is getting messy. Girl, you ain't special just cause you a lezzy. Liberal ass bitches acting like clowns. Fuck your girl too. And your pronouns. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I don't Woo. think I've ever seen this many flame and emoji strings. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, just right, just do one finger flick back and it's like. Brrrat. All right. Uh, Brrrat. Thanks, Joe. Okay. All right. Why don't we take any questions you guys got? That's one of why. Oh, I'm glad you guys liked it. You know, we get old school in this bitch. We get old school in this bitch. Have you seen that salt and pepper chicks like fat now? I've seen. No. I saw him perform like a year ago. <laughs> I think How I the fuck did you see him? They what, were what did you see him on some oh, award show or some dumb shit? Yeah, like New Year's Eve or something. I forget. Some yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad you guys like it. Jeez, a lot of fire emojis. Okay. Um, Dude, Buffalo barely got past Indy, son. Barely. barely. Fuck it. Dude, they, they had that game easy. They won that game easy. Oh. They didn't cover the spread, but... Uh, K Peter update. Uh, I, I noticed on her YouTube, somebody kind of called her out on it. Some of her fans are starting to point out, Kate, uh, what about those call logs? Like, and she, uh, maybe I'll get into that on another episode, but they're starting to call her out on it because the cops came if, to her out you, and arrested someone. That's a fact. If you There's do that one. on a weekday show, please consider having me on because I love great stuff. I know other people, yeah. bitch, whatever. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I love, love it. it, love it. Love it. And unfortunately, we get higher ratings when we talk about that because a lot of these people love to fucking drop me, you know. But I think we had a good it's audience. We had almost 300 for a good portion of the night. It was a good show. Good yeah. show for sure. Oh, yeah. It's a new uh, setup. I'm brighter, right? Like my light's better. No, I love, like oh, it looks last great. Time, looks last great. time we did the show, people were doing $5, get bread a light bulb, you fucking smart asses. So I've been good, adding man. little pieces as we go. So, yeah. All and right, I got uh, these cool fancy earbuds. Ooh, fancy! Oh, look at that, fancy. fancy. <laughs> and the guy, yeah. We talked about. Yeah, I didn't get to the Muff Marauder one. We just ran out of time. The other two stories took a lot, but it was good. We'll, we'll talk and do it another time. Um, Jared Goff is the first game to win a game with less than fifty percent completion since Tom Brady. Yeah, he was awful. I don't know how the fuck the Rams won that game. That, so basically, that means that we're not going to see. We, what that means is we will we cannot see Brady versus um, uh, Rodgers in the second round. Now, if if Brady wins today, they get the Saints. So that would be and the Rams. The Rams are going to play unless you see unless the Saints somehow fucking lose to the Bears, which I don't think will happen. Then we're going to see Brady Breeze oh. and then Goff against um, Rodgers. So that should get the Packers to the NFC championship and they would get one of those two. So it's going to be great in the end. I feel like the, man, the fucking Seahawks, remember how good they were at the beginning of the year. And then they're it, off. It's 21 16 now with uh, like 11 minutes left in the fourth. All right, with, uh, we'll, we'll do this for a couple minutes, a little Q and a, and we'll go watch the rest of that game. All right. Question. Uh, people like you think Trump will start his own social media. I mean, even if he does, it has to be, you guys have to understand, even if he does, start his own social media company or something like that. It has to be hosted somewhere. And what happens, they're going to, yeah. you don't understand how the deep platform mob comes after you. They find out who's hosting you. They'll go after them too. They'll pressure them. That's all these fucking assholes do. That's all they fucking do. They're Nazis. Like I'm so sick of being nice to these people. Like I don't want to advocate death, but like, <laughs> I mean, eventually we're going to have to, oh. I, I don't want to like I would do it. Like I feel like I'm just looking. 
can we just have like an old school battle, like civil war battle, where a bunch of those pansy asses and us that's what I want the field and we just run across fucking Braveheart style and whoever's left standing is left standing. Can yeah. we fucking that enough of this fucking bullshit, enough of calling hosting companies. Let's just get in a room and fuck, 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 fuck. Like that's what we need. Yeah! <laughs> that's what we do. Mm, yeah, we need to uh, you, enough Trump of this bullshit, man. Enough of it. Enough of the bullshit. Uh, does Trump finish out his own term? Um, <laughs> I mean, he's only got like 10 days left. They're not going to remove him. I don't know if they have votes, but uh, he's definitely going to get impeached again. Again. <laughs> uh, yeah, and again. he probably deserves it this time. To be perfectly honest. I mean, the dude legitimately like in, lied to retards and got them to do retarded shit. And now somebody died because of it. Like, dude, that's so fucked up. It's fucked Five up. Five people. But at right, the same time, people. yeah, five people. But at the same time, it's like I'm not. I'm almost willing to give him a pass because the liberals did the same shit to some more Black Lives Matter. They shared the bail fund, like they encouraged rioting. So fuck you and your fake outrage. Yeah. All right, yeah, other no, it's all go fuck yourselves with that shit. It might. Me and my wife were arguing about it because I said once they breached that front door, like once they went and they were in. In my opinion, it's easier to advance when the police or the, the opposing force is backing up going, no, and running upstairs and shit. That's easy to do. It's a lot harder to step over people's bodies and walk through blood to keep advancing. That's I true. think the, the Senate police or whatever the fuck they're called should have just lit every fucking one of them up at the front door. There should have been a little pile of bodies. Oh, and then oh, I'll tell oh. you, the rest of these half of fags would have stopped trying to fucking come in. Oh, like, I can't not, stand it. Not even up to debate. Yeah. You know what happened when right? they started firing? You know what happened at, 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 when they when they started firing at Kent State? The fucking, it ended. The, the shit ended real quick. Yeah. Okay? That's what Sometimes I'm saying. You got to go a little Kent State on people. And it's like, you, they'll, they'll get the message real quick. Oh, shit. I was just. Trying to have some fun here. I ain't trying to die. That's what I'm saying. If, you, yeah. if you just lit up the first few in the doorway, they're yeah. not going to, hey, let me step over these dead guys and make my way through this blood, and I'm going to get Nancy Pelosi's desk. Yeah. Uh, not cute you know you what I mean? No, yeah. you'd have turned the fuck around and went back to your hot pockets and World of Warcraft, you little cunts. Yeah. Bunch of bitches. All this. You've become what we made fun of for four years. Yeah, Congratulations, exactly. bitches. Yeah, I mean, we ex you if you're there, just understand that, like, like Laura says, Diana Ploss is your peer group. If you were there, Diana Ploss is fucking retarded. She's a fucking moron, <laughs> and uh, she's like, that's your peer group. Just understand that 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 is like the people of me, the, the MAGA diehards. I was a diehard Trump supporter. Like, I ain't there with you, and that should tell you something. That should tell you something. Okay. Anyway, dude, that's uh, what, anyway. that's what I was saying. I was like, dude, yeah, I'm not with them. Like, because I've, I've been this big Republican leaning, whatever the fuck they call it. And and my wife's looking over me. Hell, oh, that's your people, right? I said, absolutely fucking not, man. I have nothing to do with these fucking idiots. Yeah, exactly. Fuck them. I'm waiting for the Kyle's dads to come out with the. Like, let's yeah. do that pot. Let's red dawn this bitch and get it over with. <laughs> red dawn. That's what, fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. Yep. Might as well. Uh all right, any, any other questions you guys have before we call it a night? Anything else? Fire away. Killing is a fucking idiot. Yeah, he he, sounded, he called me Everybody. a clown the other day. And I don't want to see you fucking half of fags in the fucking comments of this when it's supposed tomorrow or tonight with your fucking, with your opposing points. He gave you fucking assholes a chance to come on live and speak your piece. And you all bitched up and folded like cheap lawn chairs. So I don't want to exactly. fucking see it in the comment. You fuck exactly. Cunts. I agree That's completely. Cunts. You bunch, got a bunch of fucking gaffneys is what the fuck you little bitches are. Yeah, and at least shut like, your fucking mouth then. And I'll come on the show. You give people the stuff. opportunity every week. Yeah. Nobody like they're afraid of us. Like we, you and I, will go on anything. We'll go on anyone's panel, talk shit, run our mouths. Stand up for ourselves, make points, call people out on their bullshit, but they won't do the same. All we get is people who don't figure out how to turn off their goddamn fucking radios in the background. Oh, uh, yeah, they guys probably a turtle around their shit on a little bit, but I mean, come on, dude, follow fucking directions. Jesus, how many times? Yeah, uh, will Pence run in 2024? Right. 
Like, now, I hope Mike Pence doesn't run. I don't. Mike Pence was the perfect vice president. I can't get enthusiastic about Mike Pence. He's a little bit uh, boring, if you if you know what I mean. He's a good vice president to keep. The, Ron DeSantis, I'm telling you, that's the guy right there. That's the guy I'm behind. Anything else? When's the next time you're going to have Dave on? I just had Dave on the other day, didn't I? Yeah, so. Yeah. I'll have him on soon. I'll have him on soon. So Dave's what? He's on great. He's fun as fuck. Yeah. Um. Anything else? <laughs> this is so you noticed my name, White Snake. That was from the Brett and Leah video where she goes, Okay, White Snake, go back to your fucking trailer or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, I agree with Em's comment here about like I can see how it happened. Silence people for five years, call them racist, all that stuff, ban them from shit, and then give them no way to defend themselves. I mean, I can see the anger. I get the anger of why people were there, but at the same time, they were misled. They were they were lied to that like you can only so, well, come on you, you yeah. give it too much fucking credit if I'm there because of small businesses and all this other shit if that's why I'm there I don't have on a Viking helmet face face paint and no shirt you know you know what I mean that's I, I don't dress like a fucking cunt yeah that's true you know so you weren't there for that you, you guys just wanted your Instagram posts and your live streams and all your yeah. little bullshit and you've accomplished yeah. nothing. Now your means for the rest of your tiny limp dicked existence. Mm. You're yeah, just and, uh, a meme now. Uh, on two, you're yeah, the on, new Karen. You are the new Karen. You're the new not not sure. By the way, uh, Tuesday I'm having on this guy from a, a Facebook page that our old friend Greg Bates has declared war on. So we're bringing Greg Bates back from the dead on Tuesday. I'm gonna have a guy on the show who Master runs a page. Bates. Yeah, he's got a beef with Master Bates. So we're gonna bring him on. His name's Andy. Uh, he runs a, a beef page. It's literally called a beef. Uh, it's like North Shore Beefs, I think it's called. And he's got beef with Greg Bates. So we're going to bring him on, bring that back on uh, Tuesday. I agree with Kevin Thomas. It's a very good looking audience. I agree. Um, all right. Uh, anything else, guys, before we call it a night? All right. All right. So the, I guess that's it. Steve Can we get a follow up on Steve? I don't know. I should text him. I still. Have I still. Okay, uh, so I'll talk to many you later, But uh, thank you guys for all the donos today. I really appreciate your support. Hope you guys like the freestyle. Thank you, Brett, for joining us, as always. Uh, thanks Been for having me. Good shit. All right, guys, we will see you all on Tuesday. Peace, Charter Riders. <laughs>